All right, so you know how I put something out on social media saying if you have more than a million YouTube subscribers, you can come pilot the robot for free. Well, I've got someone here today. He's sort of a YouTube legend, and I've been watching his channel for probably six years. Okay. <laughs> it's Jorg from the Slingshot channel. Hey, I'm so glad to be here. And today my task is to make this robot shoot this steel ball with plenty of rubber. <laughs> Jorg builds really, really ridiculous high power slingshots. So for this collaboration, we actually wanted to have Eagle Prime fire a slingshot. So we've got this nine pound shot putt ball and we're gonna <laughs> fire this inside. Hopefully the landlord doesn't see us do this, but things are gonna get a little bit dangerous. <laughs> Destruction. <laughs> <laughs> so Jörg's been building this over in Germany. He's brought it all the way to California. This is the release mechanism that's going to hold tension on the rubber band. It's gonna hold the ammunition. And once we pull the cord, <laughs> it's gonna release the shot putt ball. We've got Eagle Prime here. We've got the shot putt ball. We've got the rubber bands and we've got the release. Now the strategy is, how do we get the robot to actually fire this thing? So Jorg's gonna explain what we got going on here. Yeah, first what's obvious is we're gonna have to attach, like clamp the rubber bands to the open jaws of the, of the hand, whatever that is. And then the release, we just use a little bit of string to attach it to the end of the chainsaw. And then have Eagle Prime stretching out the arms like this so it can fire the shot put. <laughs> so this is the pouch that I designed. And right now we have the testing, which is just a plastic ball in here. Because when we test it, we don't want to go ahead and use the steel ball first. We now have our test setup complete. Jorg, why don't you walk us through what we've done here? Okay, well first we have attached the rubber to the claws with the clamps and little pieces of wood. Okay. It's holding perfect. And the rubber then is attached to a string that is in turn attached to the pouch here. And the plastic ball for the test shot is already in here. And now if you want to shoot, we can actually step away from it and shoot it so that we are way out of the line of fire. And all we got to do now is spread the arms. <laughs> so there's our target. We're going to see if we can get it in there. This plastic one is probably going to go all crazy because there's very little mass and I don't know if the accuracy is going to be great, but we'll see what happens. And then if all systems are go there, we'll move on to the, to the heavy shot putt balls. So, Jorg, is this, how would you rate this on level of, of dangerousness oh, compared to the things that you normally build? Well, I usually do quick and dirty, but this is super, super <laughs> quick and ultra, ultra, super dirty. <laughs> but we only have one day. So, exactly. And, and only the material that is here. So we have to get creative, and I think we did. So we're making it happen. Quick and dirty and involving giant robots. What, <laughs> what could go wrong? Okay, starting the robot.
This is the moment you've been waiting for. We've done our test shots. We have the real nine pound shot put ball loaded in there and we're gonna destroy this clothes dryer. Now, when we tested with our plastic balls, they tended to just bounce against the ground and fly off into the shop somewhere. So we don't wanna kill any people, but we do wanna show you a ton of power. So we're gonna put the clothes dryer really close to the robot. We're gonna hop in the robot, stretch it all the way out, let it go and see what damage we can do. Destruction. <laughs> Keep this this side a little lower. So this, we will lower this a little bit. So yeah, it mm -hmm. kind of goes right, higher, right, than, right. higher than before. Mm -hmm. Did you get the shot? I hope so. <laughs> Bang! <laughs> I guess that was a German shot put because did you see how tidily it closed the door after itself? <laughs> and here it is. See? The entire backplate came off. See? Yeah. Oh yeah, I just pulled it right off the back. <laughs> I love destruction. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine what kind of damage this thing could cause to an opponent robot. Yeah. Specifically if you like increase the rubber by factor of five. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you got a really solid hit on that thing, that's way more dangerous than the uh, paintballs we use. Well, I didn't expect to ever see Eagle Prime wield a slingshot, but this is the man to do it. If you want to see more inventions, destruction, and stunts, check out York's channel. We've got a link right here. And if you like giant robots, subscribe to Megabots.